All right, we're back in North Lake. All right, everybody. Welcome to my North Lake house. Yep, we are back. Here with my dad. We're just uh, taking a quick look at things. You guys left a lot of nice comments on my previous video and wishing my family the best of luck. I even know one of you donated to the GoFundMe, which I will link in the description below. If you feel like contributing to that and helping my family out. And if you didn't see the last video, just a brief summary. This is my childhood home in Northlake that I lived in from the time I was around about five years old before I started kindergarten up until I got married. And my family, my dad, my sister, and brother-in-law all lived here. This was my bedroom yeah, from my early teens until I moved out. Previously, my bedroom was upstairs. I may have better access now to see if any of my stuff is in this closet. This was the living room or front room, as Chicagoans call it, or maybe you guess front room if you want to get real classic Chicago. This was the kitchen. A lot of flies in here. <laughs> you can see the refrigerator over here. Kitchen cabinets. We have the kitchen sink. More cabinets. This was a little kitchen table. I have no idea what this is. This is, wasn't here last time. I think this probably used to be a light structure. It used to have the kind of the overhang fluorescent lights, very 80s style over here. Still warm, but not quite as hot as it was my first visit down here when I did that video. This was the kitchen pantry over here. Sadly, we lost this old cabinet over here, which was my grandma's. And this was the family room. Biggest room of the house. Might try to see if I can get a look at the basement. I didn't do that last time. Old CDR here. Yeah, sorry, I might get like shadows on my phone here. I'm trying to use the flashlight this time. <laughs> There's a little hole going down to the basement from here. Yeah, there's definitely still some water down there, so if I do get down there, it won't be that far. <laughs> yeah, that has not dried up yet. This was our back door. And there used to be a closet back here, but from what I understand, the fire did originate somewhere in this room, so that's why it's kind of in the worst shape. Upstairs is a little bit better. Man, this fridge is crazy. Yeah, this is like really still hard to open up. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll leave that alone. I guess we take a quick look upstairs. I think my dad's doing something outside, but he's going to come in here eventually. I did mention in the previous video those 8 millimeter films I believe. I'm a little more confident now. Those actually may be in a storage unit. Um, so I have to work that out with my sister and brother-in-law to see when I can get there because I don't even know what town the storage unit's in. <laughs> or nor do I have access to it. I mentioned this in the last video but I gotta go over it. This is my little computer gaming center <laughs> that I had for a while. This is where my computer was. My 90s style Dell computer and stuff like that. Used to be in here. The first one on the internet. Well, First computer I had with internet, I had it in here. This is where I would go into all the Yahoo and Halo chat rooms, talk to the ladies. It was in this spot here. Uh, this was a little storage closet area. Got a lot of seasonal stuff in here. They've been working and going through that. I don't think I really have anything for me in here. Where I may, though, have stuff that is mine, like old toys and stuff. If I really wanted to play. This was a bathroom, by the way. This is our upstairs bathroom. <laughs> There's a toilet. There is a sink over there. Uh, a lot of the stuff in the storage rooms here kind of spilled over into here, I think. But way in the back here, 
Oh, 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 oh. oh man. Okay. <laughs> you can see that box right there. Yeah. If I still have some old toys from my childhood, they may be back here. It's a little better. They are going through this closet, but don't know how far I can get through there. It's in better shape, but look at this right there. Atari 5200. <laughs> it is possible I do have some of my old 80s toys in there. Turtles, whatever. Maybe my He-Man playset, <laughs> that sort of thing. So there might be a couple treasures back in there, but I don't really see anything offhand right now. Well, that thing's coming down. All right, and I discussed this in the first video. This was a location of the original version 1.0 of Wayne's Arcade World. Until I moved it into the basement after my sister was born. This was the first location of Wayne's Arcade World. Of course, version 3.0 is in McHenry now, without any actual arcade games. But I did at one point have four arcade games. Two uprights, one tabletop, and one pinball in this room. Pinball was over there. Tabletop was right in between those windows. And then the two uprights would be along this wall right there. And growing up, this was always my parents' bedroom. Okay, they definitely made some progress in getting this out. Like I said, I may have something in the back of this closet. Okay. Oh, they did pull a lot of stuff out. All right. Oh, that's a bummer. I saved them one of these newspapers when it comes to one of the World Series. I'm pretty sure, though, I still have copies of all that, so not that big of a deal, but that's not in good shape. But, yeah. World turns. Cubs win the World Series. <laughs> all right, let's uh, go dig in here. All right, I could just kind of lay this blanket out here. There you go. No, I'm going to get a little dirty. I'm going to be taking a shower when I get home, obviously. All right. Right now, mostly I'm seeing stuff that's my sister's. As you know from my previous videos, I have a lot of what I call North Lake boxes, so a lot of my stuff is with me now, but... Got some interesting old pictures here. My mom and I. Me on the left with some of the kids my mom babysat. Me and a bunch of my cousins. I'm in a white outfit here, right in the middle, bottom. So this was probably my communion. On the left is my really only second cousin that I ever really had any contact with. <laughs> and a bunch of my older cousins. In the back. Not sure about this one. I think it's some animals. Some more of the kids my mom babysat. Not sure about this one, but I think this is another pet pet. Sure, this may have been one of my hamsters. More of my cousins. These are the two that lived out in Virginia that we would visit. Oh, there you go. This is me in the room that we're in right now. <laughs> Yeah, this is looking in from the door. The closet would be right over on, kind of behind the photo, to the right. My mom and dad. One of my cousins. Oh, my grandma's house in West Virginia. <laughs> Those are her three little chihuahua dogs. The little black and white one was tiny. Um, he was purebred. Max was part chihuahua, but kind of mutt. And then that was Lady. Uh, also chihuahua, but mixed. He was the stereotypical chihuahua. <laughs> He'd love you for a minute and then want to unalive you the next. <laughs> Another one of my cousins with her kid. And Tuffy, one of the cats I had as a child. I was still pretty young when she passed away. I see what looks to be an old Bulls jersey. <laughs> but I actually have some of those in North Lake boxes, so. Uh, old game. Some graduation plates that could be me or my sister, who knows. Uh, I see an old book. Uh, 
<laughs> kind of looks like a Bible. I don't know what is this. Anyway. Yeah, I no idea. Can't really see a cover on it anymore. It's burnt off. The pages look like her. Okay. James Patterson Nevermore. Okay, I'm gonna say probably not mine. Oh, and there's another Dance Patterson book, so. Maybe my sister was into Dance Patterson, so I have no clue. <laughs> Too many words for me. I'm more Dr. Seuss level, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's a Rodman. <laughs> Rodman 91. Yeah, I'm not going to wear this. It probably would not fit me anyway. I've gotten a little bit larger since my 90s Bulls days. Yeah, it's a little burnt anyway up there. Fortunately, this is a loss, but I thought it would be a, really much of a value anyway. <laughs> I had just about every one of the players back in the 90s. I mean, this was cool, but not coming home with me. And I have several of those jerseys in the North Lake boxes, but somehow that one got missed. <laughs> okay, that's not spooky at all, huh? <laughs> Hey, I ain't gonna ask questions. I don't wanna know. Oh wow, this is... Now this is old. This... And sorry, I'm trying to get the whole lighting thing figured out. But uh... This was an old owl... Napkin holder. That my parents had forever. This is definitely a very 80s era thing. I mean, this needs a little cleaning. This might be in good shape, but again, I'm not really interested in taking that home with me. The bottom piece to a lava lamp. I'm not 100% certain if this was the one from the original Wayne's Arcade World. The one that I have down there now was the one that my sister had actually bought me. I think she went to Spencer's, you know, after we moved in and picked that up. I haven't found too much yet, but... Remember this? I do. I wonder where I had that. I don't know what it was doing in the closet, but... Ooh, what do I see here? Oh, this is too bad. But this is in such bad shape. Oh, yeah, it's very cool. I can check this out. Kitty Land Amusement Park. Hang out here. I think these are the... Uh, Shirts that they were giving away during their final year back in 09. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna wash out. Those are something on the other side. Yeah, I think they had a variety of these shirts. I'm pretty sure we had multiple of them, and I may have one with the rest of my clothes. It just says Kitty Land here. It's kind of like stitched in, you know? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, not much else going on, I don't think. I don't know if there's anything way in that back corner or not behind that big box. Nice little organizer here. I don't even know if this was used at all. My parents very well if it bought me this for college and I never end up using it. Yeah, I don't think this ever got used. It's a little calculator in here, organizer. Like a little it looks to be like a little address book and stuff. Yeah, see, you get a whole bunch of like organizer stuff and the address book and calculator. Kind of, this is the uh, pre cell phone days. <laughs> Everything in this thing I now have on my cell phone.
Yeah, this was actually probably something that my mom had got me before college. This like little purse looking thing. Yeah. Which is kind of funny because it just shows you the time we got. And here we got address book, calendar, calculator, organizer. Everything was on my phone now. Yep. <laughs> and a pen. Also, I guess I don't need to, so. Completely outdated technology. <laughs> in good shape. It was in a nice leather case, but I don't think I ever... I probably got this going to college, and I don't think I ever end up using it, but it's actually in good shape. <laughs> this is all we're really looking at back here. Another one of those creepy masks in the corner there. I don't really know who Maka is. I already took pictures of this, but I want to document this on the channel as well, so at various points in my residency here i wrote my name on these stairs obviously the house gets torn down one day these will end up going as well unless i can kind of cut off around them i will try but let's look at some dates here now oh, we got wayne 12 493 wayne 924 95 wayne 10 26 97 Seattle, there we go. Wayne and my sister Jessica, 12801. And then, oh, and then we have my daughter and Jessica, my sister, 121912. And then my sister and her husband did one in January 17th, 2016. Apparently we also have Billy Mitchell's signature. My sister may have actually picked this up. That's unfortunate though. Besides being a cheater, the dude's kind of a wacko, but he sells hot sauces. I also want to try to save this, this light plate switch thing. Snoopy. Oh, another World Series uh, newspaper over there, I believe. I didn't take a look at this really close last time either. Our old fireplace in the family room. You can actually see that. Um, there's a video in my hometown playlist of my dog Dixie chasing a balloon and you could very much see this fireplace and the rest of the family room too. <laughs> For much of that, I was kind of standing in this area here, filming. You can see we had a couch over here where my grandma was sitting. And these were the stairs, the version 2.0 of Wayne's Arcade World. not very secure. Well this is as far as we're gonna get today here. As you can see we got some water. <laughs> I don't know what it was like after the fire if it went down since any but I don't have the footwear for it but yeah this was our basement and you can kind of see this used to be just one big room and then my dad built this wall after my sister was born we had to move the arcade down here he built this wall and the door to separate his basement area from Wayne's Arcade World, which used to be right behind those doors. Now, if you've watched the Wayne's Arcade World videos, you'll see those plaques, the silver plaques that say Wayne's Arcade World. They used to be on that door, um, right on the other side, so it was kind of like my little entrance sign. My dad made that of his work, and thankfully I saved that and incorporated it into Version 3.0 of Wayne's Arcade Row in McHenry. <laughs> there wasn't much, if any, remnants left of version 1.0 or version 2.0 of Wayne's Arcade Row at this point. All the games have obviously been moved out and brought back to Pac-Man Pat. And most of the decorations, which weren't, you know, thrown out because they weren't in good shape, have been given to me. And as I've discussed in my previous Wayne's Arcade World videos, a lot of the stuff that's currently there is 
remnants, leftovers of those previous versions of the arcade. So I got a really good mix of old and new there, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> but this pretty much now was just like kind of a hangout room for my sister and her husband. And when my mom was alive, it was kind of an exercise room for her. So it <laughs> transformed into a lot of different things after I had moved out of the house when I got married. But yeah, this is the first time I'm seeing it down here since the fire. But yeah, we're not going to walk in there. I would show you where all the games were, but no, we can't really do that today anyway. Thankfully, the fire didn't really affect too much down here, although the wall is definitely in bad shape, but anything that was above the floor is okay. The biggest issue down here was the flood. My brother-in-law has these big boots, which he's using to kind of go in and out of there. Oh, old picture of my dad and my sister, I think they're... Yeah, all right, the last thing I want to do here, I think, is see if there's anything interesting going on in the junk room. We had always called it the junk room, <laughs> but it was one of our storage closets. With these, like, I think they're called Cape Cod style houses they have in North Lake. You always have a lot of these rooms with angled roofs, which aren't really practical for any use. <laughs> So you have all these little mini closets, basically. All right, let's do this. This uh, drywall here, or wood board, whatever that says up on this, kind of in the way too. My dad thinks that the Tower 5200 is still in that box over there. Nothing stands out in particular to me. I see something that looks like it says talking Michael Jordan, possibly a Space Jam thing. If I could just get this thing to go away somewhere, that would probably be helpful. I think we have some toys in here. Okay, yeah, we have a bunch of baby toys. My mom used to watch my oldest daughter for a while we lived in Hoffman Estates and my wife and I were both working and some doll things back there doll stands um, I don't know that purple box that's what looks like to be some kind of Michael Jordan Space Jam thing over there is that Atari 5200 box Panasonic Impact dot matrix printer. I think that's one of the old printers that we used to have that may actually have various computer stuff in them or it could be used to store something completely different. Not sure. But unfortunately I don't think I'm gonna really get too far back here today. Besides the random foot which I don't want to know more about that. Hopefully that's just a Halloween decoration. This also could very well be one of my old toys. Looks like a little house or something, or a little village. The sign over there says bank. I don't really remember that one in particular though. But that definitely looks 80s-ish to me, so that probably was mine. As you really start to dig back here towards the bottom, <laughs> you're gonna find a lot more of these old toys, I think. Another day, another vlog for that. All right, that is going to do it for this visit to the North Lake House. I will leave a link to the GoFundMe in the description below. Feel free to contribute to that if you so wish. It is very much appreciated. And I will keep you updated, let you know what's going on here and whatever the future plans my family has for my child at home. Thank you for watching.